Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dennis here back with another video, another day, another DJI event. And I already know it's not gonna be a new drone, unfortunately, so it's gonna be a new gimbal. It's probably a replacement or a lighter version of the DJI Ronin S. The reason I know that, because uh, DJI actually tased that on their Twitter, Twitter account, sorry, and they put through sort of a sample footage on that one. So today is the day where they announce uh, this new event called Challenge Yourself. If you don't know what the Ronin S gimbal it's like a mechanical gimbal uh, not similar to my glide cam in here uh, but it's one of those things that looks like a bigger version of the Osmo Oba where you can put in a DSLR or mirrorless camera okay enough that let's go watch this uh, video from DJI okay yep it's the suitcase that's what they taste in the Twitter and the Twitter account yep it's definitely a new gimbal It looks like the Ronin S, obviously it's called Ronin SC. Are you, are you ready for a challenge? Yeah, of course. Choose your camera, so you can choose a lot of cameras. Definitely, okay, it has the same design as the Ronin S, obviously. This is gonna be the lighter one, because when I played around with the Ronin S before, it is uh, heavy. You know, I still prefer the glide cam, but you know, one day I'm probably gonna buy a, a gimbal, like a three axis gimbal like the DJI run. Yeah, quick setup and balancing. Okay, definitely looks lighter and a little bit slimmer. Yeah, motion lapse, yeah, which is the time lapse. Yeah, sports mode. Yep, barrel roll 360. <laughs> Active track 3.0, wow. 3.0 already. Oh dang, that's pretty cool man. Active track. About two kilograms. Yep, cinematic black bar. Yeah, very steady. Looks like there's a new mobile app as well to go with it. Amazing challenge accepted. DJ Ronin SC. That looks nice. Okay, cool. Look, uh, look, this Ronin SC looks amazing. But before I go through to that one, uh, look, as I mentioned in previous videos and previous uh, DJ events I've covered. Uh, the last couple of products that DJI has announced uh, or have released are non-drone related products. You know, you've seen the Osmo Action, Osmo Pocket, uh, you know, this new gimbal, Caron SC, the RoboMaster. So I was expecting Spark 2 to be coming up in August you know, or second half of the year, but it's a bit of a stretch now. Again, I feel like the drone market is overly saturated at the moment. Overly saturated is that kind of word. Anyway, saturated at the moment. DJI is on top of their game in terms of uh, drone products. So, you know, there's no challenger brand out there or there's no models that can, or drone models that can challenge them. Uh, again, there's a lot of secondhand um, DJI models out there as well. They're comfortable where they are. So they're trying to sort of move into or branch out into other sort of uh, product ideas, you know, so 
Fingers crossed uh, they'll be announcing a new drone uh, later through, you know, later through the year, but you know, it's a bit of a stretch. Uh, but anyway, going back to the Ronin SC. When the Ronin S came out, I went to the DJI store here, or the local store in here, and played around with the Ronin S. And one thing that I do find about using that gimbal is it is a little bit heavy. And I think that's one of the major complaints. I wouldn't say major complaints, major, probably one of the key feedback that uh, consumers have provided to the DJI that the uh, their mechanical gimbal are it's a little bit on the heavy side. Uh, I know they've started to release other accessories, you know, to have that twin handles for the Ronin S. But yeah, with this Ronin SC, sounds like uh, they've fine-tuned a couple bits and pieces in there. Kind of looks like similar to the original Ronin S, but it's a lighter version plus other new features as well. One thing that I did notice is the Active Track 3.0. So uh, that could be a game changer. Uh, you know, when when you have those mechanical gimbals, it's kind of hard to track people, especially when you're on high speed action, sort of, you know, being able to track uh, your subject is probably, you know, one of the most important things uh, that you can, that you can have with, uh, with this type of gimbals, you know? So look, personally, I still prefer my glide cam. You know, I still like using the glide cam because, uh, you know, it's more natural to me. But uh, as, again, as I mentioned earlier as well, I will be getting a mechanical, a three axis mechanical gimbal, um, you know, like the Ronin S uh, or Ronin SC one day. Bear in mind that um, DJI was a little bit late to this uh, mechanical gimbal uh, game because, you know, you've got the likes of the Zion Crane, hopefully I pronounced that right, the Feiyu Tech, and a couple of other brand names who have been uh, in the gimbal game for quite some time now. So I feel bad for some people who have purchased the Ronin S, you know, over the last month, you know, because. Yeah, with the Ronin SC, obviously, it's if it's lighter, it's better, it has new features, then you know, obviously you will probably want to spend money there rather than buying the older model. But hey, um, the Ronin S went on sale for you know a couple of weeks, uh, you know, with our end of financial year deals here in Australia. Well, normally that's what happens when you know they're about to release a new product, they're gonna drop the price on their current models. And anyways, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, slow news on drone products, but yeah more news or uh, lots of exciting news on non-drone related products for DJI so yeah okay well that's really it for me thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video remember to give it a like I really appreciate it and subscribe to my channel for more videos also do follow me on my other social media accounts Twitter Facebook Instagram and more for news updates and exclusive content well that's about it this is Dennis and I'll see you in the next one bye